Hi everyone, welcome to Dusty Shop Collectibles. Well I'm back in Blackpool so I've just taken the tram up to uh, Fleetwood to pop into Jobs Toys and have a look around again. Right, let's start with the uh, larger scale engines. Got a lot of reflection on here but... Uh, line all loco there. Like I say, a lot of reflection. Lots of track at the bottom. Let's have a look at some of these cars. Measure Smith here, forty five pounds. So there, that superb stone woods cookie. Lots of uh, bus badges there. I'll get more badges through here. machines. That looks very good. Lots of different Thunderbird toys here. A gentleman who owns the shop is just telling me these cases that you see here, they've been made on site. Uh, bespoke cases for your models. That, that looks really good. Now these models, I've seen these around in a few places and uh, they really do intrigue me. They've got quite a lot of character to them. Conflex by Backman. this last time. Vintage Kyoto Kyo Kyo buggy here. Lots of lorries in there. Get another one of the display cases. Look at the trucks down here. Crispy cream donuts there. Jack was just showing me they're building a new workshop out of the back for the uh, well, basically, they offer a laser cutting service, a glass etching service, and uh, 3D printing uh, their own components. My first visit here was uh, in October last year. Happened to find it on the internet and uh, came over to have a look round. And um, I did buy my G-Scale um, 
loco from here. The um, I forget what it's called now. Deadwood, Deadwood G scale, and um, at the time I thought, what a fantastic shop. I mean, there's so many things in here, and uh, really, you know, really, really fair prices. You know, it's um, yeah, great, great uh, bits and pieces. And I come back again because I'm up here in April. Um, just have a, a look round. I'm, I'm staying down in Blackpool, but uh, you know, 40 odd minute tram drive, um, tram ride up the up the line to here in Fleetwood. Um, well worth the well worth the uh, journey, and the uh, shop completely changed. I mean, wonderful layout of display cases now, and uh, yeah, wonderful array of stock. Look at these trucks. So definitely, if you're in the area, I would highly recommend this shop. Yeah, the noise you're hearing in the background is the guys working on the new workshop. They're just uh, yeah, putting the finishing touches. I won't film out there because obviously they're working, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to see how this progresses. Certainly, you know, most of my viewers know that uh, I'm keen on uh, Blackpool anyway, and uh, this just gives me another venue now and another reason to come up here. Down the bottom here, there's the linker sets. Does anybody remember Linker? We cast the parts to make your own buildings for you. Possibly for your railway. There's the uh, Tamiel original six wheeler P34. A couple of models here. That one of the Messerschmitt. I'm not sure what this is, but some sort of sci fi. And that I do love. The uh, Triumph TR7 there, AFX kit. Yeah, that one really does intrigue me. I might uh, a little bit tempted by that. Yeah, when I was younger, I did have a TR7 that um, we, my dad was trying to restore at the time. Great model. Gotta work my way along the railways. There's Batman narrow cage. Some Graham Farish here. And the Merit model railways accessories. Don't see many of those now. outline on the coast. There we go, Union Pacific. More Crown Farish bits. The touches. And again more Graham Farish. Do like the little GWR loco here. Midlands Express at the back there, let me zoom in. Very nice. I do like again this American outline loco. different gauge master wagons, gauge master collection wagons here. And again in City 125. Double O gauge Midlands Rail. Yeah,
BT models, not heard of those before. Most different buses there, let me zoom in on that one. On some backman bits and pieces. Love the Union Pacific at the back there. Southern Pacific Railroad local at the top there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Certainly a huge variety of stock. I'm filming this, picking out the bits that I want to uh, want to purchase. <coughs> Another signals down there. So the cabinets down here. These are all uh, lorries in here. I did film quite a lot of these last time. We'll just have a quick look at some of them. Caterpillar trucks there, or diggers, should I say? gauge track on it. Remember last time I came here my shoe was squeaking, it's doing the same, it must be the floor. <laughs> Look at these at the top. Put the down the bottom there. I say you can hear in the background the saw going. We're doing the construction works uh, behind. Now these down here, these little barriers, these are one of the things that they're in 3D printing. So different scales. Uh, these are like the uh, roadway construction barriers. And uh, these low loaders. Look at those. Whole series of Blackpool trams. fire series. I believe I've got a couple of these. They're very very nice models. Green light collectibles. Reflection, so apologies. Oh, the Matchbox uh, Transporter, I've got one of those in my cabinet at home. I had when I was a kid. Of a uh, lot of models of yesteryear cars at the bottom here. I did show this in the last video, but uh, seems to have a little bit more detail on it. The uh, construction uh, layout here, Union Pacific. Let me come in 
the morning template. Yeah, very, very well done. And a few more trains here. I do like the back one. Look over the back there, Pennsylvania. Or American Outline. And some uh, American Outline buildings at the bottom here. Let's say very, very reasonable prices. I think that's coming with me. I'll be buying that in a moment. So the back one candy dancer here, thirty-five pounds. That's a Christmas one. I did a video on my one of those at Christmas, and then. Uh, forgot to release it so I'll save that for next year there's a juif juif crane down there Mallard over the back there, down to sixty-five pounds. Lots of different buildings. And some more gauge trains. carriages here, look at those. They're great aren't they? Just looking at the top models. Just hanging in on the uh, Lola. That is superb. Absolutely superb. So as I said a minute ago, this is uh, look, it says it's specialised in 3D cutting, 3D printing, graving, final graphics and design work. Okay. I think that's what the uh, workshop's for.
Well, like I said last time, I cannot tell you what an amazing model shop this is. I highly, highly recommend it. If you are in the area, come and have a look in there. They've got some fantastic stock. And uh, like I say, really, really reasonable prices. Well, I think I'll wrap this one up there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And as always, check out uh, the other videos on the channel. If you can subscribe, you'd be doing me a fa big favour. And yeah, do please come and visit Jobs Toys. Fantastic place. Anyway, with that, we'll leave this one there. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.